Hey guys, I got in a new product from Streamlight called the Speed Locker. This is a portable locking storage container with a mechanical keypad. Streamlight is obviously very good at making flashlights, whether it's weapon lights, handhelds, lanterns, emergency lights. I sometimes don't like it when companies kind of stray away from what they're really good at and try putting out another product. Um, but I figured that we'd go over some stuff here, show you around the box here. Securely stores your valuables, fast direct access at home or on the go. Securely lock and store personal items. It's got a rugged hard shell polymer construction. Convenient folding carry handle. Uh, it does have mounting holes so you can mount it to a desk or something similar to that. Uh, it's air travel or TSA compliant. Um, fits compact firearm models. So that should be like Glock 19 size and smaller. Water resistant, limited lifetime warranty. What do we have over here on this side? Uh, mechanical keypad. It's got 31 user selectable possible combinations. No batteries or power source required. And it has foam inserts uh, to secure and protect your valuables. Those are our interior dimensions right there. It looks like that's our factory combination is 135. Now I did review a similar product about a year ago uh, from Stopbox and it had a few shortcomings. So we'll get into the Streamlight, see what it's all about. I'll give you guys my honest opinion. All right, let's quickly get this thing out of the box here. Not much in the cardboard box other than the speed locker itself and there's some of the other stuff it's showing you some of your travel stuff looks like that's most of the same stuff that was on the box all right so this is what the speed locker looks like uh, it's got real nice like texturing up here on the top streamlight logo and name there got our keypad here it's got a thing for a padlock on each side handle up top the handle does fold pretty flat to kind of reduce the overall footprint of it got a little warning back there uh, like a fairly smooth plastic there uh, some rubberized feet there and I assume those are the holes for mounting it to a desk or something I'd almost like to see you know one or two there and another one or two up there uh, but it looks like it's just those two grab you guys some quick measurements so basically from the edge right here to the end over here is 12.4 inches The width from edge to edge is 8.2 inches and the height is 2.78 inches and a weight is 2 pounds 13 ounces. So before we even get into opening it, I did want to mention these rubber feet again. Um, I'm not exactly sure what what they're using on here, but when you set this thing down, it almost like clings to whatever it is. It like there's a little bit of movement, but that thing is pretty well stuck to that table. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing popped open. It said one, three, and five. Oh, so there is some more stuff inside of here. I guess that's going to affect the weight. That's a padlock and uh, keys and stuff. Here's all the stuff out of that baggie. It's a padlock, a couple keys, manual, stickers, and then a little Allen key. And here's what the manual looks like. If any of you are interested, you can pause and read that. And there is their warranty information. So those are the foam inserts. It's almost like egg crate foam. Show you guys some up closes here of what the 
mechanical lock looks like and there's an allen key in there and if we want to change this right now let's set up one three five uh, maybe we just want to do one and five or two and five or whatever we want to do what we will do is pull out you can see how these ones are in the back and then these are in the front wherever you position these is what's going to be your actual lock um, so if I just went three and five, I would actually take that Allen key, back this out, and then move it down, and then one is no longer an active key. It's only three and five. I don't know how well the camera will pick this up, but you can see, I guess it was backwards. So one is over here, one, two, three, four, five. But you can see there's a little lock. See that little lock down there at the toward the bottom? And so those are the ones that are locked right now, two and four. And again, if we want to move that down, there's a little hole right down in there. It's probably not shown on camera, but there's a hole right there. And we just move that there. All right, we're going to close it. And then I'm going to show you what happens if you put in the incorrect combination. So we knew it was one, three, and five. So let's just do two and five. So you can see that those got stuck down. And the way that you get back out of that is you push on the lid again. Let's just do one and four. Again, it doesn't work. We know that one, three, five is our combination. And then it pops open for us. When you close it, they do recommend pushing on both corners here. So I'm gonna quickly change this combination. I'm going to take this out of five and then put it down lower and then I'm going to move four up. So our new combination, and I'll take a three out and move it down as well. So our new combination is going to be one and four just to kind of show you here. So I got that pulled out and again it was up here and now all I'm going to do is move it down here. I wasn't 100% sure how tight to get this screw when I replaced it down there. Um, but the directions do say basically go hand tight and then another 180 degree turn. All right, so as you can see now, I have the one screw forward and the four screw forward. Um, two, three, and five are the back rows, so those are the ones we're not using. So if I did it right, it should be one and four together and it pops. So it's pretty easy to switch out. It only takes a few seconds. All right, I'm gonna give you guys an idea of what will fit in here. Uh, this is a Beretta PX4 Storm. It's Glock 19 size, four inch barrel, uh, very similar dimensions all the way around. So we'll just set it in there like that. Let's see if we can get it to close. That is kind of tight, but again, this foam is brand new. So let's push on the corners and it locked so and you can see that it actually helped like spring that back up when you put something in it now it's kind of pushing on the the top so when i hit this watch how that pops up so it springs up like that now um, so that easily fits you could probably put a spare magazine there beside of it as well glock 19 size with a red dot i think it would still fit pretty easily as well Got a Taurus G3C, kind of like subcompact size. Clearly that fits no problem at all. This is a TX22 compact. Can we fit them both in there? Um, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna fit. Let's see. Maybe if we go this way. Yeah, that actually might fit then. Let's see. A little bit tight for sure, but I can. Yeah, that one's not wanting to close. So let's see, see where we're hitting. It might be hitting right there. Maybe if I move it over just a little bit. All right, it did lock down. Let's see if I can open it now. Yep. So can fit two subcompacts in there. So obviously if the subcompacts fit, we shouldn't have any trouble at all fitting like micro size guns. That's a P365 and then a Ruger LCP. So yeah, those will obviously fit. No troubles at all with that. Locks easily. 
And I mentioned earlier in the video that the speed locker is TSA compliant. Um, for those of you that have never flown with the gun before, you do have to have your magazine out of the gun. You don't necessarily have to have a chamber indicator in there, um, but the gun does have to be completely empty. Your magazine has to be completely empty. And the airlines prefer that you have your ammo in a box and preferably like the original box, but it doesn't have to be. Technically, you could just put your ammo in a Ziploc baggie or something like that, but that's basically what it would be like. You would then close this, and even though it's locked with my combination, you should still put a keyed padlock through at least one of these holes, and then you have to be the one that keeps the keys. Uh, you do not leave it with that. Always keep the keys with you. And then this would go in your checked luggage. And then whenever you get up to the ticket counter, you just tell them you have to declare a firearm. And what I typically do is take the steel locking cable um, and wrap it around the handle, like the inside of my suitcase, um, and then through my lock box. And I'm realizing that Streamlight does not include that little steel cable. So you cannot like wrap it around like your, the bottom of your car seat, uh, wrap it around like a, a bed post. Um, I just kind of assumed that they would have something like that. And looking inside here, I don't see anywhere for like a steel cable to go. Like my, my other couple that I have, yeah, there's like a little notch right here and you can put the steel cable down there. But yeah, it looks like the speed locker does not have an option for that. So the speed locker is obviously nice for anybody who travels by air, but it's also just nice for anybody who travels in general, whether it's by car, whatever. Um, it's a very, very rugged, thick, durable case. So it's obviously not meant to be like a standalone safe. You know, if I put my gun in here and then I just set it on a nightstand, somebody breaks in, they just take this with them, you know, and they, they could take a hammer and whatever and probably get into this eventually. So it's not meant to be a safe. However, I think it is something that's good as like a transition. Maybe you keep your home defense pistol in your safe, but you pull it out every night. And maybe you have small kids in the house that like wander into your bedroom, middle of the night, whatever it might be. I think pulling the gun out of the safe, placing it in here, and then it basically gives you like instant access I also think this is good if you're one of the people that likes to stage guns in different rooms. There are people that do that. Um, so no matter what room you'd go into, you'd have access to a gun. You kind of have it hidden somewhere. And then again, just press of a, you can just have one button if you want, uh, but just a quick press of a button, you're automatically into your, your firearm. A couple other things I wanted to show you guys is those two holes that I showed earlier from the bottom are the only two holes for mounting. Um, there is like an o-ring that goes all the way around this that's what gives its waterproofness so technically you could like move this foam you could drill some more holes here and mount it to a desk but that's inside the area that's waterproofed or water protected um, so if you drill through that you're no longer going to have any type of water protection so i'm not sure if streamlight has officially released these yet um, I think that the pricing is going to be somewhere in the $100 to $125 range, which I honestly think is a little bit on the high side, especially since that there isn't that cable and no way to secure it like in your car or anything. I know that you can buy just a generic steel cable on Amazon or whatever for like $10, and then you could use that padlock and just run it through here. I do think that it's built really well. I love that it doesn't need any batteries. There's no electronics involved. Um, you know, I've got multiple safes that all take batteries. Some of them have backup keys, uh, but some of them don't. And the last thing you'd want is in the middle of the night, going to get your gun out, you hit in your key and it doesn't work. Or if it's a biometric, you put your finger on it and it doesn't scan. Um, this here, like literally, 
it takes a split second and you're into your firearm. So there's obviously a lot of really good things about it. Uh, not having that cable still kind of bothers me, but I guess you got to know what you're planning to use it for. You know, if your primary purpose of buying this is to leave it in your car, probably not the best choice because again, somebody could break your window and just literally take your gun in the case and all. But again, I think for travel, it's really good for that. And then like I said, for at home as like a transition between your safe versus just like laying out on a nightstand. But all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. I will leave a link to Streamlight down in the video description. And whenever a link becomes available for you to purchase, I'll leave that down below as well. If you guys have any questions or comments about the speed locker, please leave them down below. And that's going to be it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.